Hello guys, I don't know if you are a family of five and struggling with POF, money for settling down, um, expenses uh, uh, um, in your host country in Europe, or you are thinking of whichever way that can help you or whichever uh, uh, route that you can use to go to Europe and settle down with your family without any much stress and you are guaranteed for a job listen to me carefully so we all know that pof is now a stumbling block for many people we also know that the currency and the um uh, um uh, uh, the valuation of uh, some african currencies is a big problem today for people that wants to relocate because the um, foreign currency is becoming so big and you know it is becoming um, so 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 big uh, that the local currency in Africa cannot compete so that puts some friction in this migration um, uh, uh, processes so a family of five or six when i mean a family of five i'm talking about mother father children maybe three or maybe four four children they want a place where their security is assured quality education is, is assured and um uh, uh um health care system and security and of course jobs for the parents so these five key things are the major things that people consider when moving abroad and again they'll consider that because of like i said about the nile uh, or, or your cities or rants or kenya shillings or whichever one is your currency we know that African currency cannot compete in the international market. So now the foreign currency which you need to have and proof that you can take care of your family to get that with your um, local currency is now a big deal. Some people are struggling and again it is not only about struggling. It is about try how to prove this uh, money that, okay, for instance, you want to go through education or through uh, short-term courses. Now you should ask yourself, if they say that cost is like 3,000 euros, in Naira is more than or close to 4 million. So we are not, we've not even added transport, accommodation and all that to get to 10 million. But now you want a country that is cheap. You want a country with security. You want a, a country with world-class healthcare system. You want a, a, um, a, a country with the living expenses is uh, manageable or can I say you can adapt with the living expenses like uh, the, the major ones are utilities and rents. So if it's your cup of tea that you want to you want to go to a place, you know, from the beginning, you will not be stressed to run around for big POF or start molding your account, building your account or whatever. So now I have something for you. There's a country in Europe, and this country, the, the beauty of that country is that English is their official language, so which is a big factor. Your children will adapt so easily in school because of the language. And you, as someone that will seek for job to support your family, you will still adapt easily so having said all this we'll go for a short break when we come back from a short break i'll be showing you some cheap college in that country and 
you will start making applications by yourself now so don't forget to subscribe put your notification button on when we come back we we'll move straight to the requirements as a student and other things that you need to have before you can get admission in that country see you okay guys please in this screen you will be seeing everything because there are some things i cannot pronounce so in the screen you'll be seeing all the information so pay attention in this screen everything that i will be talking about is in this screen as well so let us get down to the requirement for all this cheap college in this country so number one is your international passport your criminal record is number two then your transcripts and all these things that you know your results, your WIAC, original certificate, and all that. That's number three. You have to gather them. Then number four is your recommendation letter. You know why you are uh, um, uh, uh, in need to be employed because of uh, need to be given um, an offer in a school or in the college. So how would your lecturers, your former lecturers, assess you or how did they agree that you can be of you know good student that is the recommendation letter they have to recommend you says you know it is good for your lecturers to do that but some people if you have worked in a, an establishment like bank or you are a teacher back home then you can use um, your employ, uh, uh, employer to get that recommendation letter is still with the reference letter they uh, mean the same thing then the fifth one is you i'm adding that one now i've started adding that one in some last video i'm making up for students because you as a student don't go to malta to do any course because it's cheap research what job is in high demand that's no okay for instance you 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 want to do geology or these courses you should ask yourself do geologists from africa get job in this country if you want to study something like sociology you will ask yourself that question so having said all these things you still need to prove to the school that you are the right uh, student that's mission uh, statement or uh, um, uh, um, your cover letter have to reflect that with your CV and all that have to reflect that you are I, I wouldn't say do it in a way that when someone is reading it the person would would want to you know know you so add more value in those things a mission of mission state uh, uh, mission statement and your cover letter make sure that those things speak for you and anyone reading them would like to know you more so we have said all that please check this screen you will see the college that are recruiting international students let's get to the third part can you get a job after doing this course so that you can stay in the country to get your permanent resident permit then work towards your citizenship can you do that yes i'm telling you now you can quote me anywhere there are jobs and again the the skills that are in high demand is um tech skills and health skills so it is either tech or 
healthcare um, sector that really need people. I'm not saying if you're an actor, uh, uh, architecture or if you're not, uh, if you are an architect or you are a lawyer that you will not get a job. No, you will get. But what I'm saying is that the roles in the health um, sector and tech sector are so vast that people are not feeling it. So, no matter who you are in those fields or whether you are a beginner or you're coming with experience, the major thing we have to understand is that there's a shift in order. So, as the tech, you are doing that tech, remember that you have to still specialize on what Malta needs from tech professionals. Okay, you might do a cell, you know, Google, um, Google Workspace so well, but Mr. Bill is just looking for someone to help him or, or her in email list. Think of your course like this. So this is my course when I finish it here. How soon can I get a job? And is the job paying well? And all that. This is the way to think before you can choose a course. So with all these things, the last bust of this, can I change uh, my visa after the post-study work to permanent resident permit? Yes. Can I switch visa? Maybe your employer um, have some issues. Can I still move on and get a job that will help me in a short while? So, I don't want a situation where families come here. When the the person that went to school finishes, they will be roaming the streets of Europe without a job. I need you to think that sometimes, like you are young, you do things that you need to do at that time. So now, if you maybe you did um. Uh, um, facility management or environmental science or, or geom uh, you know, or, or geomets, you know, all these courses that, you know, um, have to do with weather and all that. So, remember, if you're coming to Europe, you might, they might not need those uh, skilled people from geometrological engineering or environmental engineering and all that i'm not saying they don't need environmental scientists of course they need them you can see what the sweden girl is doing with the campaign so i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is that when you apply can you compete because you are just a newcomer and they don't really give all this um training like they do for people in health sector and all that so now you have known your answer that your target will be in the industry that Malta need so that is the way and the best way i know you might do it for 10 years you want a change but then you must have gotten your uh, permanent resident permit and your citizenship then you can move as much as you want so that's the goal this is where i'll be ending this video and if you have any problem with when we uh, uh, checking out the schools i have written here please come to wtp ask your question and i will get you cleared i've been there for so long today and before i woke up i must finish this thing because i've set my alarm i must finish all the questions in wtp so i'm hoping to get yours so come and ask us a question the link is in the first comment in this um uh, video check the pinned comment so the link to the telegram group where we talk about 
businesses of late since after my surgery i've not been serious there but now as time goes on and suta healing is coming i can still doing something that i will i really love doing so i will see you in the next video but don't forget one thing click the like button leave your notification button on and share in your social media platform there's not any extra charge for this just share and i will see you in the next video so stay tuned